Hi, good morning, sir. Can I take your name, please? Uh, yeah, I'm um, Stuart Carter Smith. And what are you here for today? Oh, I'm doing. I'm, I'm a part part of this this whole thing. I'm doing some filming for a YouTube channel. Okay, have you got a pass? Uh, no, no. Fortunately, your name's not on this list, so it's I can't let you in. You have to go around to uh, the Caddy and Spectators car park, which is next door. This is for VIPs and players only. I'm, I'm a pretty big deal, you know. Did uh, you not know? I'd make rules are rules. As, Happy far, golf as far as I've been told, no, no one unless they're on this list. No? No, unfortunately not, sir. Well, I'm going to have to just what? To... If you back up, uh, turn around, if you take a left at the bottom of the lane, and it's the next car park on the left hand side, and there's a guy there, and he'll let you in through that car park there, sir. Oh, Right. Okay, I do apologise. For England, we have Mr. David Guilford. From Ireland, we have Mr. Eamon Darcy. So here we are at the European Seniors Masters. Um, it really is it's quite an eye-opener. They still strike it so pure and so well. So it's quite nice to have a look at their swings and how they get around their course management, their short games, and see these guys are still knocking it around in six under par. Uh, one of the guys this morning, uh, Breyer, I think it was, was a six under after the first eight holes, which is great golf on a, a fairly testing golf course like the Forest of Ireland, which is a beautiful place if you've not been here before. Um, you've got an incredible clubhouse and beautiful facilities. So it's like a mini tour event when you get here. There's a smaller tented village if you've ever been to one of the tour events. Right, who's the gobbiest out of you lot? Me! <laughs> <laughs> right, here we are. So these guys are all from Harbury College, which is in Gloucestershire, right? Yes. And yes. so they're all golfers? Yes. yes. Why are you here? What's the goal? What's the goal? <laughs> so, so did, your, did your tutors tell you to get down here or you just fancied coming? We you fancied, fancied coming. coming. We wanted to get inspiration. And you're watching so much golf right here. We are. Yeah. Yeah. We are on a break. And so are you learning from this? Have you been out to watch some of these guys? Yeah. yeah. Who's, who hits it the best out there? <laughs> you lot. <laughs> uh, Woozy. Oh, it's because who's, who's Welsh? Who's Welsh? Me. You're Welsh. He's Welsh as well. <laughs> right, so Woozy's out there. Philip Price is out there as well. Yeah. He's pretty solid. Are you, just, are you just going to get drunk this afternoon? Are you? Yeah, yeah. smashed. <laughs> on a water or is that a vodka? Oh, you don't know, I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, cool, we'll see you later on. Yeah. Hope you have a good time. Bye. Bye. Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> um, but there's plenty going on. Georgia, yeah. Come here then, do you mind yeah, being on camera? No. Come on, Georgia. Yeah, let's get on camera. You good? This is the lovely Georgia. Yep. Lovely Georgia here from Bentley where? Bentley Leicester. Bentley Leicester. If you need a Bentley, this is the place to <laughs> this go is to. This the place to go. So what, what model is this? This is the new Continental GT. Um, I've got my dirty golf shoes on, that's going to help. You're going to love this. <laughs> yeah, don't ruin the interior. Very nice. Uh, how much is this? This is close to 200. So, yeah, starting from about 180. Oh, that's good. Right, this is the uh, Lamborghini Urus. How long has it been out? About a month, just over now. About a month? Yeah. And go on then, how much is this one? So it's similar price to the GT actually, you're looking about 200. <gasps> What's this red button doing? It's just gone down. <laughs> it's, that I've is broken it. Start the, start the engine, but don't press that. Oh, bloody hell, okay, I won't touch that. <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's nice, isn't it? There's not many of these on the road at the moment, so it's not been out long. It's Ooh. Lamborghini's first SUV, super SUV. Oh, it's sexy, isn't it? Very nice. <laughs> nice car as well. I'll cut that out, I'll cut that out. Sorry. <laughs> well, thanks very much, that's good. If you need one, get Thank in touch you. with these guys. Thank you. Tickets are completely free, completely free, completely free. So you can come and see these legends uh, of the sport, um, mainly the kind of 80s and 90s legends at the moment that are coming through, like Eamon Darcy, uh, Ian Woosnam, Barry Lane, all those guys who still strike it absolutely pure. Um, it's great to walk around and see their, um, how they construct their, their scores um, because it's not all now due to power hitting and um, overpowering the golf course. It's now shot management and it's great to see. It really is, um, 
it's, it's quite kind of rewarding to check those guys out and see how they're doing. Um, it's a beautiful place here at the Forest of Arden, so maybe come tomorrow, which is Saturday or Sunday, which the final day's on. Um, it's completely free, so uh, come on down and um, check it out and see some legends of golf. So we're here um, again at the Forest of Arden at the Seniors, uh, European Seniors Masters, is it? Yep, European and, Seniors uh, Masters. And this is, um, what's your full name? Brendan Bear. And what's your job title here? I'm a press officer with the Station Tour. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to grill this this guy uh, for some information. So, um, so do you know about the other tour events for the seniors? Yes. Yeah. Uh, how many are there in the year? Ooh. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's the first one. So it used to be only about twelve. Yeah. And I think. I mean, we're Ooh. not going to quote you on it, but uh, roughly. Seventeen. Seventeen, which which is more from last year. Yes, it? it's yeah, it's up from last year for sure. And is that with the help of the sponsor, Stay Sure, or or you're just it's growing that way? Definitely with the help of the sponsor, Stay Sure, no question about it. David McLaren, who's the uh, head of the tour, um, he's done a phenomenal job of adding events to the schedule, um, and I think more planned for next year as well. That's which great. Is, uh, which is exciting for the players and you know just exciting for everybody really. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think as I was saying earlier, it's a great event to come to because I, I think that people would actually are rewarded more from watching these guys. You know, whereas when you go and see Rory hit it, there's no way you're going to get in that physical shape. But for most uh, men and female around the sort of age from 20 up to sort of 50, you know, you know that you can physically get into that shape and watch them get around how they plot their way around, etc. Which is absolutely, of... absolutely. I think one of the cool things too is, is, I mean, these are very experienced players and and they know a lot about the game of golf and. Like you say, they may not be able to drive it like Rory McIlroy, but they think their way around the golf course yeah. so phenomenally. Um, it's just, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a treat to watch them yeah. play golf. And people can pick up on that, which I think absolutely. Is, you know, they never panic. No, these guys, no, do they? No. Um, so I was going to say, so a few things. So how um, would somebody get on this to be able to play today? Um, firstly, as a professional, and secondly, as an amateur. So as a professional, there's a, an exemption category for past European Tour winners. Mm -hmm. That gives you a one-year exemption uh, onto uh, the Stay Shore Tour, um, which a lot of players are then able to turn into more of a full-time playing category. Sure. And then as an amateur, um, there's there's Q School. So there's a Q School uh, at the end of the year, and uh, the, uh, the top few players from that will uh, will earn a card. And so uh, David Shacklady, who's, who's a, a a winner on tour this year got his card off Q School right. last year. So um, and so they're over 50. Is that right? Or yes. 50 yeah, and yeah. over. Yeah, over 50. You can play Q School before your 50th birthday, but you cannot tee it up in an event until okay, until your 50. Because Thomas Levay, he's this is his first this event. This is his first event. Year, he it? turned 50 on September 5th, and right. uh, I guess today's October 5th. So, yeah, so one month on. He's in. And, yeah, and he seems to be uh, playing pretty well. And so these guys to um, keep their card. They have to earn a certain amount of money. Is that the way it works? Yes. Yeah. There's uh, like any professional golf tour, uh, the players are divided into categories. So there's certain exemptions. Someone like Ian Woosnam, who's won a major, uh, yeah. been number one in the world, World Golf Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's he's basically exempt uh, for life. Um, players who've played the Ryder Cup um, are, you know, obviously, you know. The players that fans want to see. And, People want to see them for sure. Um, but then past that, it's um, you know it's it's competitive and it's not easy. I mean, there's a, there's a lot Serious of guys scoring. Yeah, and there's only uh, you know most events are, are 60 players, so yeah. there's a lot of good players each week that aren't aren't getting in. That they still have a category on the Station Tour, but uh, you know for whatever reason there's there's guys in front of them on the pecking order. So sure. it's it's very competitive. And so you, you it's only from the Q score that they get in other than you other exempt people from European tours. So other regional pros couldn't get in by winning their things. It's just just that Q score is that. There is yeah there's it, it may depend on the specific tournament. Maybe there are five spots for like you say local local professionals, but right. generally speaking, I mean everybody uh, everybody here uh, aside from the Q School graduates, has played on the European Tour and, and, and won on the European Tour. I mean, Marcus Breer, who's leading today, is a European Tour winner, and um, he's only 50. He's just turned 50 this year as well, so he's uh, he's really. Uh, I think really he was 800 at one point. After he was about 10 holes. I was he like, was. whoa, hang on, yeah. somebody's missed a digit off of the uh, scoreboard. A bit know? of a 59 watch, but <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. it's not an easy golf course, and I think he uh, he hung in there pretty well. So, um, so the other thing is obviously that helps these kind of events tick. The amateur amateurs that play with the professionals, because the first day is a pro-am, right? Mm -hmm. 
and then the second day today and maybe tomorrow you're with an amateur yes it's the uh, it's the alliance format which is one professional one amateur okay um, and they're playing four balls don't they so it's yes exactly good to watch. and it's sort of the amateurs play off a handicap mm -hmm. um, obviously the professionals play yeah. off their ability yeah um, and uh, yeah they just they just compete it's over two days uh, it depends on the tournament some day, some tournaments like to have the two days cumul cumulative <laughs> yeah and uh, some tournaments like to have one day and then you start again on the second day sure. so so the alliance format then, then amateurs drop on the Sunday for the last day exactly of exactly so the final day is it's uh, it's just the it's war yeah it's, it's <laughs> war it's war and it's it's uh, it's the elite uh, the elite professionals and so those amateurs getting down to the nitty-gritty what what do they pay to get into this event is it something that you can pay to enter uh, you, you can you can purchase spots in the event. Um, it, it depends event to event. Mm -hmm. um, what what the uh, what the amateurs pay, but uh, you know what I, I'd have to say that it's uh, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good value on because uh, it's three days golf. Because right? a normal pro am would be maybe two hundred fifty three hundred pounds for one day's golf. So I'm assuming it would be a couple of grand or something to play in this event, for instance. Um, like I said, it, it, it changes event to event, but um, I think the really the really cool thing is you get a chance to play with. You know, Hall of Famers like legends, Ian Woosnam, yeah. legends of the game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people who have won in all corners of the world. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, people with you know really good stories to tell. And then on top of that, you get to compete. You get to, um, you know, there's there's functions at at night where you sort of get to interact with the players in a more lighthearted way. And, sure, yeah. Uh, and the the players on the stage Shore tour are so good at you know really involving the amateurs. Yeah. I mean, every every amateur that I've spoken to. Um, who's played in these alliance format events it's just they can't believe how accommodating the professionals are it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty fantastic he's not going to tell us he's not going to tell us <laughs> <laughs> but but i tell you what i will say it, it does look amazing value for money and those guys are awesome um so if um somebody wanted to come and play would they contact yourselves or would there be somewhere where they can go to put their name and pay and all the rest of it yeah they can uh they can contact the stay Shore tour um okay. if there's a specific event that they want to play uh sure you know we're uh we're and whereabouts are they because it is european isn't it but it, it is it, it's part of the European tour so there's uh, there's many ways to reach out you can uh, you can always email media at European tour.com okay um, I'll put some links below so you can follow those things um, and uh, there's uh, that would probably be the best way or you can um, and do you know the countries that they're in now is it mainly in, in, in England or are there it's 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 all over so for example the the final series is uh, is in Mauritius and Seychelles oh wow so that's uh, <laughs> I mean that's quite the quite the that little different yeah quite the little uh, the Indian Ocean swing is, as we're calling it so that's I think that beats most places That's to play That's incredible, golf. yeah. Um, sign me up for that one. It's all over. Our, our first tournament of this season was in Sharjah. Right. Um, we've played in Switzerland. We've right. played in Germany. We've right. played... Uh, we're off to France next week. Fantastic. Um, so, I mean, it's, uh, it is very much like the European tour yeah. in the sense that it's, uh, it's a very international schedule. And I think that's important. I mean, you know, the people around the world want to see these guys play and, and Absolutely, these yeah. guys want to want to compete all over the world yeah it's, it's it's an amazing event it's the first time I've been to one and um, I'm just so impressed especially because that was kind of my era that 80s 90s was was a time when I was watching golf and I've seen some of these guys and played with some of these guys before uh, many years ago so it's uh, it's just lovely to see them still doing it and still out there and it's still competitive because oh. like they I was gonna say I mean some of them are obviously uh, they've made their money and this is probably lovely to play in an event like this and I'm sure it's not such a big deal money wise financially but I bet the, the people down the bottom end of the ranks are probably are relying on some of this money would you say yeah I don't know if, if rely would be the word but I think uh, and it would be an expensive tour because there's not many sponsors for the the players I wouldn't imagine at this I stage th I think uh, for a lot of the players they you know they've they've uh, built really good relationships with their sponsors over the years and so right. um, I think they can still provide a lot of value for example Peter Baker, who's the tournament host this week. Yeah. Um, he's he's sponsored by Champions Golf, and uh, Champions is putting on this event uh, in conjunction with the Stage Road Tour. Um, and you know, Peter's provided a lot of uh, a lot of really cool experiences for the fans out here, and and things like that. So um, you know, I think that the players still command uh, some some good sponsorship, and I think more importantly, it's not necessarily always about the the figure that they're playing for but the fact that they are playing for something i think that yeah. really brings out the uh, yeah the the red-blooded competitive yeah. side of them which is what the fans want to see and, so and we've seen some side bets going on as well so it soon goes up i'm sure you know yeah uh, woozy and uh, peter baker were really 
uh, having some good fun out there today and uh, I'm sure their amateurs with them which is loving that you know yeah I mean they're good friends they go back to uh, playing in the Ryder, Ryder Cup. Cup yeah you know they, they were a pairing and they're the best of, the best of mates really so uh, for them to be paired together they're both in the top five right now it's, awesome. it, but uh, I'm sure that uh, they uh, weren't giving each other uh, <laughs> an easy time out there <laughs> well thanks very much for your time yeah, and uh, for that information um, all the links I'm gonna put below um, so you can hassle this man for get some spots cheers man yeah thank you great